We are so back, baby. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Let's Play series. If you don't know this series, it's a series here where we talk about topics on Pokemon Go. We just play Pokemon Go casually. And today, the number one topic on discussion is motivation. Because as you've seen, I haven't posted one of these in many months. And that's mainly because, you know, we dropped the first five Let's Play episodes and then I kind of want to take a little break. It was really cold when I was recording them. But now, look how nice it is. Don't you guys like feel so good when like spring, like anyone who's in the Northern territories, especially like when it goes from winter to spring, like just you get cured. I don't under, like you don't, if you always have nice weather, you don't understand it, but like just going from bad to good weather, it's just like the world's just getting better. I don't know. Nonetheless, we are here at uh, Andrew Hayden Park, one of the uh, OG stomping grounds and uh, some, some things in the game have changed. As you can see, the new map update, let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's pretty... I think it's pretty spicy. I think it's pretty cool looking. A couple negatives with it. I've heard a lot of people saying that uh, their game kind of lags a little more because of it. Oh, this is a Tepig nest. Isn't that fun? Which I could definitely see. I will say actually right away, if your game lags with it, come to settings, advanced settings, and turn off enhanced graphics. That will kind of help it a little bit. You can also download all assets at the bottom and turn off um, movement for hair and clothing. Those things will kind of help the game a little bit. Granted, oh, look, a wild poipo. Just kidding, it's a Zara. Um, granted, what was I gonna say? Granted, it's still gonna take a lot of phone, like battery from your phone if your phone's not amazing, but still, it is what it is. Nonetheless, can we get a shiny Zara to start this video? If you can hear my voice is kind of, kind of a little bit uh, messed up. Actually, I, so I wanna talk about today motivation. Um, in Pokemon Go, are people quitting? Are people still playing this game? Or is it just kind of a downtime? First thing I'll show you is my motivation hasn't been there. Um, I can't really show you my stamps, but yesterday I, I looked at my stamps and there was at least five days between each of these research stamps because I took multiple days off where I did not play the game. I can also show you my streak here at the bottom. I have a one daily Pokestop spin streak and I'm not gonna lie, I did not spin a Pokestop for probably like two weeks because I don't have a Pokestop at home and I didn't really want to go out to play. Like I have barely been playing the game. I only play the game right now when I go to stream, when there's a new event to test out the new event. Um, but I've, I haven't really like played that hard. I think the last time I really played hard was the 24 hour challenge, which was in March, like early March, right? What is it, May? Yeah, I think it was early March. So like it's been a while and honestly the motivation to play hasn't been there. Nonetheless, let, let me go grab a seat here. I, I want to talk about this a little bit with you guys and see what you guys think. Um, about the game and the direction of the game and, and, and where, where it's at right now, I guess. <laughs> if this, is this wet? No. This isn't a vibe. I don't know what it is. Look at this. We got the lighthouse. We got the water. Feel like I'm in, feel, I don't know. This feels cool. <laughs> I'm actually uh, going to be in Japan for GoFest, and uh, I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be an amazing trip. I've never been to Japan before, but if you don't know, Japan is like the mecca of Pokemon. It's where Pokemon kind of all started, um, and it's going to be really exciting. A little nervous, not going to lie, a little nervous. You know, I haven't really, first of all, I haven't really solo traveled to a country where I don't speak the language in a long time. Like the last time, the last time I solo, I don't know, it's been so long. It's been, it's probably been since 2019. It's been like five years. So I'm gonna have to brush up. I've been practicing my Japanese Duolingo. Nonetheless, okay, that's not why we came here to talk. We'll talk about that a little bit further in the video. There's actually some exciting news in this video about something, but motivation, Pokemon Go, why people are playing, why people aren't playing, or have you been playing? That's the question. I have a couple thoughts on this. First thing I always like to think about when it comes to motivation playing a game like Pokemon Go is that unfortunately Pokemon Go is just kind of at the mercy of being a game that's going to be seasonal based, right? Like, especially in a country like Canada here, we're very north, we have cold winters, we have very hot summers, which makes it so people like, you're not gonna play Pokemon Go in the winter. You can, you can drive around and play, but it's kind of a little bit boring. Also, I feel like I should put on incense or something, or let's just drop a lure here, actually. A golden lure, let's drop a golden lure, isn't that fun? Um, yeah, I feel like people don't really play during the winter seasons 
in Canada, like there, there is still like the hardcore community, but there's definitely a lot more people that play. So I think that really affects motivation. I think that's a reason. I think that, I think number one, that's a reason you might think that there's not a lot of players in your community coming out. But also I think that's the reason that Niantic is more chill on events in the winter. If you don't notice, like the spring, I'm not gonna lie, every single year, the spring season of Pokemon Go sucks, man. These last three months of Pokemon Go, um, March, April, May, are usually some of the worst. I remember last year we had those events. Remember the team leader events where you could get the one costume team leader, like they had the Ponita with the costume, the Lapras and the Elekid. Probably the worst events I've ever seen in Pokemon Go. I think one of them released Larvesta as well. Probably, arguably, one of the worst events in Pokemon Go. Ooh, Carbink Encounter. Um, and it was during the spring season. And, and this season as well, March was pretty good. I think we had the raid days in March um, for the Kyogre and Groudon and different stuff like that. But I don't know. The events have been kind of a little bit mid, especially like right now. We don't really even have an event going on. It's the, um, the Rediscover Kanto event. Before, we had some trash event as well um, where there was no Wild Spawn Sustainability Week garbage. Um, and overall, like, it's very clear that Niantic does not want to spend too much time on making the most insane events because they just know that there's not going to be as many people playing Pokemon Go during these seasons, during these months, you know? So I think that's where a lot of, like, I think it's like a cycle, right? That people are going to stop playing Pokemon Go because the events suck, and then that's going to see, and that's going to make Niantic be like, oh, not a lot of people are playing right now. Let's not spend too much time on making the events good. So it's like a kind of like a vicious cycle. And I think that kind of leads to motivation um, for the game. Second thing, talk about motivation. And I think a reason a lot of people are, are quitting is uh, obviously the avatar update. Now I haven't addressed it here on the channel. Um, and like a lot of people are like, why are you not addressing the avatar update? This is how I see it, okay? And I, I trainer tip Nick made a video about this, but like every time Niantic does something that sucks and people hate, it's clear that Niantic sees it. Now Niantic is very, silent about it they don't go hey we heard that you guys absolutely hate the avatar update it's the worst update we've ever done um is this a mega is this an aggron right i wonder if we can take this down by myself let me try um like they're not gonna go out like you got to think about a corporation how they work they're not gonna go out and be like oh yeah guys i'm sorry we sucked with this update like it's absolute trash and we spent millions on it um so we're just gonna revert it like that is the worst look for a corporation. Niantic would never do that. But at the same time, it's very clear that Niantic probably does see this feedback. Oh, that's a cool looking bird. Um, and are working to update it. So I kind of have the same mentality as Nick because every time Niantic does something that sucks, I'm going to give feedback to Niantic and everybody's going to give me feedback and Niantic's going to read that feedback. But then me just sitting there and trash talking the avatar update in a video and saying it's garbage doesn't really... I guess do much to fix the problem and that's kind of how I see it is like number one it's exhausting to always make videos that are just negative and just like hey this sucks this sucks Niantic change this blah 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 and like at the end of the day I still do it especially if it's a major thing but then like number two they're like clearly unless like something in my brain is wrong clearly there's not a lot of people who like this avatar update there is some so clearly Niantic is going to probably make updates and change it and improve it so whether I make a video or not, that's already going to happen. You know what I mean? That's kind of my thoughts on it. Um, at the end of the day, like, I do want to make sure Niantic is held, I guess, accountable for their, their bad things and stuff. But I've just made so many videos and it just can get really exhausting making videos all the time saying this, this, and this sucks and all that. And at the end of the day, I just think, like, I'm going to give Niantic the feedback. You know, everyone's going to give Niantic the feedback, you know, on Twitter or whatever. And then it's up to Niantic to change it or not, you know. Whether Pokédaxi makes a video trash talking or not doesn't really make a change. I think if it's like a bigger overall movement, like the Heroes Niantic movement, I think that was very important to make videos about because you want to get other people involved as well because that's like, you know, kind of a whole movement thing. But this is not really a movement. This is just like the Avatar update sucks. Niantic is clearly probably going to change it. They're going to update it. Are they going to revert it? I see a lot of people like, oh, I am not using the... Dude, I'm going to fail this raid. I see a lot of people saying like, Niantic, revert the Avatar update. And honestly, for me, like, again, you have to think about it. Niantic is not going to go. I don't think I can solo this, but we're going to try. Niantic is not going to go spend millions of dollars on developing this update. Maybe not millions, maybe hundreds of thousands or whatever to pay the developers to work on this whole new remodel. 
and then drop it and people say they don't like it and then Niantic's like, oh yeah, our bad, let's revert it. You know, like <laughs> that would never happen. And like, I see why people want that to happen, but like at the end of the day, I like personally, I don't think the avatar update is great. Do I think it's the end of the world? Personally, no, I, I, I'm just not as committed to my avatar. Like I play Pokemon Go to catch the Pokemon, you know, to battle in PVP, to battle in raids. Like I don't really care too much how my avatar looks. I think it's important, definitely. This is just personally. Um, but yeah, no, like the avatar update, at the end of the day, I think it's gonna get changed. I think it's gonna get updated. It's gonna improve. Again, you also gotta think like, when something drops, usually it doesn't really drop like right away perfectly. And I think Niantic could obviously do a better job of testing. There's been plenty of situations where we've dropped things and it's been like absolutely abysmal. I think Niantic could do a better job of testing, but at the end of the day, like they, the feedback's been outrageously bad towards it. So Niantic is clearly gonna make a difference. If they don't, that's when I think I would step in and be like, okay, like, let me make a video. Let me talk about this. But this thing just dropped. It's terrible. They're going to update it. I don't know. That's my thoughts on the Avatar update. So I think that is a big reason why people are kind of, I guess, less interested in Pokemon Go. But I think it's really just a combination of events being trash and it's just not being a good time. I think Pokemon Go comes in waves, right? People play Pokemon Go during the summer. I think Niantic spends a lot of time. They end up saving, not necessarily saving, but like, yeah, like saving all the good events for the summer. Like if you notice the summer is when all the best events come, GoFest comes, we have all the best... Uh, community days, you have all the best raid days, you know, I could see Rayquaza getting, Mega Rayquaza getting a raid day this summer, and I think that's kind of like, I guess how I think about Pokemon Go is like, it's a very summer based game, and it's going to pop off in the summer, and I, I think Niantic still wants people to play all year round, but I think Niantic makes most of the revenue off of GoFest, off of summertime, people buying, you know, playing the adventure in the summer, because they just know they're going to make more money that way, um, can we get a shiny, that would be sick, so yeah, I don't know, that's my kind of thoughts on the motivation, I, 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 in terms of like quality of life features though, cause I think this is a topic that comes up pretty often is like people are like, um, Niantic doesn't drop enough quality of life features. You know, that's why like this game is unplayable, blah, blah, blah. Like I think that like Niantic's actually done a pretty good job with quality of life updates. First of all, starting with this beautiful background, like whether it destroys your phone or not, you can't argue this is like a great update to Pokemon Go. The biome update, the whole visual map changes are great. Niantic's also been adding plenty of other quality of life updates. Actually, there's one here. I can show you guys this one. I'm gonna have to waste a lucky egg on it, but there's a quality of life update. I didn't make a short on it. I don't really know why. I probably should have. I think, look, so if you drop a lucky egg and then you click on the lucky egg, it lets you drop another lucky egg. So instead of having to go into your item bag and dropping another one, you can just add them that way. That's amazing. That's something we've been asking for a while, um, different stuff like that. There are certain things that Niantic have been taking away, like the AR quick catch. If you don't know here, you can actually come in and normally you can go like this, but now you have to like do this bush thing and then Snover appears. But you know how AR quick catch before, like if you clicked on a Pokemon, it would appear in AR mode right away. They took that away. They actually brought it back for like an hour, I believe like last uh, Sunday or whatever. They kind of just brought it back for like a couple seconds. I don't know why. I don't know if it's supposed to come back. I hope it comes back because it's honestly an emit, like AR quick catching is like the core of Pokemon Go hardcore playing. Like to be able to catch Pokemon quickly and efficiently, you need to be able to kind of like AR quick catch. Ooh, Glitz and Glam research. What does this get us? So yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, motivation for Pokemon Go, I think is a lot of factors. I think number one, the fact that it's summertime is going to, like people are gonna wanna play Pokemon Go more and the events are gonna get better naturally. Um, and that's why I think people have been playing less because the events suck. At the end of the day, if the events suck, people are not going to play Pokemon Go as much. I think on the time, like the side of quality of life updates, Nike has been doing a great job adding plenty of those. Obviously, the Avatar update, that's just like a side thing. We can kind of ignore that. That's like a, what is it called? Like um, a black sheep, I guess. Like, yeah, a black sheep. It's kind of a black sheep. Um, but yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, that's kind of how I think about it. Is my battery dying? No. Um, in terms of Pokemon Go, also one thing you notice, look, the, the coins are at the, sh the top now. Niantic is clearly, I don't know if Niantic is like, they definitely make less revenue now because, ooh, this is a good box actually. They definitely make less revenue now because um, the remote raid passes. Like Niantic was making millions and billions off of remote raids and ever since they nerfed those, they don't make as much. So clearly they've been like working on ways to get more money. Like as you can see, the first, before, I don't even know what was at the top before, but now look, the first thing you see is Pokecoins. The second thing you see is two tickets available to purchase. And then your free box is all the way down here. 
and stickers to buy. Like this is the shop, so obviously everything's gonna be expensive and, and, and paid for, but yeah, Niantic has been clearly trying to motivate players to, to, to spend money in Pokemon Go and make them more money. I'm very curious, this is not something that we could ever know, but I'm very curious like how their revenue is now compared to before. It's probably way less, but also at the same time, like Niantic's been dropping a lot of tickets and if people have been buying those tickets, that could theoretically, actually no, I, I don't see them being able to make up revenue for um, the remote raids because the remote raids just brought them in so much money. I don't know, I'm, I'm very curious. I think Niantic, what I've heard is Niantic is a private company, so they theoretically do not have to release their earnings that they make every year, which kind of makes it hard as the consumer to know if the company is doing well or not, kind of. And that's kind of just like an awkward thing. Um, Cause at the end of the day, we can't like, theoretically Niantic could be making more money off of tickets. Um, and after remote raids nerfed and like adding more tickets, theoretically, you know, obviously in terms of actuality, probably not. I don't know. Nonetheless, that is um, my thoughts on whether, uh, like, motivation and stuff. And my motivation's been down mainly because of those things. Also, I think my motivation, like, if we're going to talk personally, let me, let me turn this camera here. <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick, man. It's kind of trash. I don't know if you guys have been getting sick, but people are getting sick right now. I think my motivation's been down mainly because the fact that... Uh, I've played this game so long. Like, I've, I've played Pokemon Go, like, honestly, not as long as some other people. That's what I'll say. But I started in 2020, April. Abra Community was, like, one of the first comedies I've ever played. It's been four years. And I'm going to say this right now. Like, some people have been playing since 2016 consistently, which is insane. But I've been playing four years every single day, making videos about it, always talking. Like, this game is was my is, has been my life. So... I think not only is it healthy for me to kind of not play as much right now, especially with GoFest season coming up, but also just like, I've been playing this game a lot and I'm not sure if it's because like, I'm kind of done with this game or if it, is it more that like, I've just played it so much I kind of need a break. So like, that's kind of how I feel about it. Like, you know when you like, how, how do you explain this? You know when you like have a food that you find that you love, you know, like let's say you like find this ramen store in your town. I don't know. <laughs> and you go there and you're like, this place is so good. This is the bomb. And you go there every single day. After like a week, you're probably like, I could not eat another bowl of that because you had too much of it. And that's kind of like how I feel about Pokemon Go is that I play this game every single day for four years. So now I need like, I, I can only play it so much. I also feel like there's not as much exciting me about the game right now. Like, like for example, What's in raids? Reggie steals in raids. Granted, I do need um, some XLs. Look, actually, I want to show you guys this. I don't think I've showed YouTube this, but bro, I got the best PvP IV Reggie steal from a trade. Look at this guy. Look at this, a 150. That's crazy. That's insane. So I need to max this, and I'm still missing <coughs> the XL candies. So I actually do need to do more Reggie steal raids, which uh, I could probably do that one. Maybe we'll go over and do that one. I don't know if I'll be able to get people in, though. Um, but like, I don't know, the raid bosses have been coming out, it's recycled, you know, it's not new stuff. And when there is a new thing that drops, I go play it, like Mega Heracross dropped, I went, I played it and stuff like that and I, I caught it. But like, there needs to be something very exciting and very meta relevant for me to get motivated to go out and really, really grind an event. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's go over that Reggie. Let me see if I can do that Reggie. Um, and also I gotta change my camera battery because it's dying. <laughs> As you can see, by the way, like, guess my favorite color. <laughs> I don't know, I'm wearing so much green. Honestly, I actually just love green. It's kind of like my new favorite color, so. Fit check, oh shit. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> at the very least, at the very least, I don't need to, uh, well, I probably should do the, the other Reggie Raid we're on, but we're gonna do this Reggie Raid. Nonetheless, um, what was I talking about? Completely forget. Oh yeah, um, there's something else I wanted to say about why I guess I've had a little bit less motivation playing Pokemon Go. I think that's just because I've been kind of like going through a personal, this is like obviously completely separate. Everybody's gonna have their own reasons on why they might play or not play Pokemon Go. But I've been kind of going through, I guess, like personal growth right now. A lot of changing in my life, potentially moving out from uh, Pokemama, leaving Pokemama, it's very sad. Um, getting a car, just like, you guys have to realize like I'm 23 years old. I'm, 
I'm still very young, which is really weird to be honest for me that like I'm in this position. Very grateful for it, but like sometimes I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, yeah, like so there's a lot of changes kind of like I'm working on potentially going in my life and then also this big trip with the GoFest. If you don't know, I'm gonna be at all three GoFests this year, which is really exciting. So if you're gonna be in Sendai, Japan, I'll be there. If you'll be in Madrid, I'll be there. And if you're gonna be in New York, I'll be there. So I'll see you guys all there. Um, meetups for Madrid and New York are happening. Sendai, I'm not sure because, again, I don't think there's a lot of my fan base out in Japan. So if you are in Sendai and you see me, come say hi and we can play together. That, that could definitely be fun. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, a lot is just kind of changing. I'm also like, this is one thing I, want to, I wanted to talk about today is that like I am going to therapy right now. And I think and this is something I want to talk about because I think it's very important. Like a lot of my audience, you guys watching, are men. Like the majority of the audience are men from the states that are like 18 to like 32-ish. If that's you, you know, or like 35-ish. I think it's very important to talk about like there's nothing wrong with going to therapy if you're a man, talking about your feelings. And I think it's really been helping me. So like, like overall, there's just been, I guess, other things on my mind, other things I'm kind of working on, working on myself, working on um, getting a place, getting more independent, different stuff like that. So I think like that's kind of been taking my time away from Pokemon Go as well. Um, and so that, it's like kind of a combination. The event's been bad, I've been working on myself. That's personally why I've been playing. Again, I think it's gonna be different for everybody. There might be some of you guys who are like, right now Pokemon Go is in the best spot. Shiny, it, nope, it, it's ever been and you've been enjoying the game more because I think that's something people always forget is like, everybody's life experiences are different. I've made videos where I'm like, this update sucks. You know, this is the worst thing Niantic's ever done. And then people in the comments are like, actually, I've never seen my community so active because of this update, you know? So I think it's very important to keep in mind like other people's perspectives. So let me know what you think about Pokemon Go. Have you been playing a lot? Have you been kind of taking it chill? Personally, the other day, this is, this is my thought process on it. I am taking it chill right now. I've made the conscious decision to take it chill because I know that summer season is gonna pop off. We're gonna have Go Fest. I'm gonna play so much Pokemon Go. So there's no point in really like forcing it, you know, right now. What, what's the saying like? delayed gratification that's what we're going for right now delayed gratification because we know that we're going to be gratified in the summer when GoFest pops off and i catch myself a shundo necrozma you know we're gonna get one i'm kidding we probably won't that'd be insane though shundo necrozma would absolutely would absolutely cook for a shundo but yeah i think that's like the main reasons why pokemon go has been kind of chill um with the game i don't know it's a very interesting game to be honest i always say Something I've always said is Pokemon Go is a political game because people always have their ideas about what should, what should be happening in game, what shouldn't. Um, oh, bro, look at these IVs. 12, 12, 12. Um, and different stuff like that because it's just, it's a game that no one's, you can't really compare. You can't really compare Pokemon Go to what it's like, you know, for other games. Because other games, you sit at home, you play it. It's not a big deal. Something changed, not the end of the world. Pokemon Go Every change, every update Niantic makes to Pokemon Go is going to indirectly affect, um, you know, the player base. Like, if, if Niantic, even if Niantic nerfs, like, Pokestop Spin Distance by 25%, like, it's, it's almost a political change that they're making. It's almost like, is this good for the human, for humans? It's not like, is this good for game, but is this good for humans? I have, you know, people with disabilities, accessibility issues, like, it just doesn't work for them. So... It's, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I feel like a, like a political, uh, what are they called? Politicians? Because like, I'm kind of like managing it all and people are like, Dax, like they changed this. This is terrible for me. And, and then I'm like, oh, like, like I feel like a politician. I don't know, maybe that's just like a, a wacky thought, but sometimes, sometimes it's a weird feeling. Nonetheless, at the end of the day, I just want the game to be good, to be fun. And at the end of the day, the core focus of Pokemon Go is to have fun. So like, as long as you are having fun, like, I think that's the most important, you know? If you're not having fun, I think it's very important to realize that and, and take a break, you know? Obviously, like, there's other factors like FOMO and, and your account and how much money you've spent on it that are going to keep you kind of unhealthily connected to Pokemon Go. But I think, like, honestly, one of the most respectable things I see in the community is when people are like, this game, I'm not enjoying it anymore. I'm going to take a step back. And, and again, I don't think you need to put a time limit on it and be like, hey, I'm going to step back for, you know, a month and then come back. Like, I think it's just like, step back. When you're ready for it, come back to it, you know? And that's something that I struggle with as well because as a creator, 
it's very weird. Like, it's, it's you're not gonna really be able to understand, understand until you're kind of in the position. But like, as a creator of a game, your your content is focused around this game. So whether you in, you're enjoying the game or not at the moment, whether you enjoy the changes that Niantic is making or not, you're you're, you're stuck. You know, like for me to just say, okay, peace, I'm out, and then just and then just dip and not post a video on my channel, leave you guys, you know, not only would I would be letting you guys down because you guys, you know, rely on, not rely, but like, I don't know, hopefully enjoy my tips and my guides and stuff like that. But also like, I have a livelihood, you know, I have, I, you know, I still have to bring an in income to survive because, you know, you just kind of need money to live in this world um, and different things like that. So it's like a very weird thing. And like, I'm not going to lie, I've had situations in the past where I've been like, I've been like, is this what, am I really enjoying this game? Like, should I just quit right now kind of thing, you know? And like, I think how I look at it now is that at the end of the day, this is how I look at anything, honestly. At the end of the day, you can't love something forever all the time forever, you know? Like, it's the same thing, like, like we talked about earlier. Even the best things in the world, pizza. You can't love pizza every single day forever. Like, if you had pizza every single day for a week, Maybe some of you guys love pizza to a different level that I don't know, but like if you had pizza every day for a week, would you still be like, I want more pizza after that? You know what I mean? Like I think everything always needs a break. Everything needs to be done in moderation. That's the saying, right? In moderation. Um, yeah, and if you do everything in moderation, then it, then it can be healthy. So that's like sometimes, and that's why right now I'm kind of taking a break and I'm less motivated to play Pokemon Go. It's because, you know, we're taking it in moderation. We're, ta we're playing Pokemon Go in a moderate, in a moderate way. Look at this little Lechonk. Yo, remember when we got the Shundo Lechonk off the auto catcher? What a moment. I feel like it's been a while since we had a crazy moment in Pokemon Go. Granted, the more I play, the more, the higher odds of a moment like that happening. So, I don't know. As you can hear, my voice is very, very sick, sickly right now. Kind of sucks. Okay, let's go find a new spot to sit and, and talk. This almost feels like this is becoming like a podcast, but if you're enjoying it, hit the like button. Hopefully you are enjoying it because, uh, well, I don't know. Whether you're enjoying it or not, I'm glad you're here. Let's keep going. <clears throat> Look where I've ended up. Right, right by the water. Isn't this nice? You see, this is like, this is stuff that we can't normally do here in Ottawa during the during the winter, I would be freezing my, my gonads, my gonads off. Okay, so now I have to battle this leader, Sierra, so I'm gonna battle her. But what I wanna talk about real quick, cycling back to the motivation thing, because I guess that's the topic of discussion today. I wanna talk about, this is honestly like more of a question, but like, how do you guys feel about content being a, a indication of interest in Pokemon Go? You know, so, this is something I've seen, especially Mystic7 talk about a lot, but when Mystic7's views are down, he will usually make a post or, I don't know, he hasn't done it that much, but like, he'll be like, hey, views are down, clearly there's less interest in Pokemon Go. Now, I think there's two sides to this. Number one, I think that there, there is some merit to that. Like, if you think about it, if less people are watching the Super Bowl, there's probably less interest that year in football than, than other years, or there's just less of a, there's just like less interest kind of. Um, but then I think there's a second side to the story and that's like, you can't put all the blame on Niantic and being like the game sucks, less people are interested, but also I think there's a side of, I guess your content, is my hair like looking crazy right now? There's just less interest in the content or the story or you know, whatever you, uh, whatever your video topic is, like there's, it's not good enough for the viewer. And I think that's kind of like an interesting topic to discuss how much can you, like when views are down for channels, I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna run through some channels here and compare their views. Um, like when views are down for a channel, for example, my channel, if views are down compared to during the summer, is it because there's less interest or is it because my videos suck? Oh, there's another cool bird there. And less people are interested, I guess, in my videos because I'm not, you know, putting as much time into them or the thumbnails suck or the story sucks or, you know, they're just like less high quality, which granted quality is a, is a you know, 
is vanity metric the right thing? Like, it, it doesn't really matter because, like, at the end of the day, quality is kind of subjective for Pokemon Go. But here, let's uh, let's hop into it. Oh, I got another rain bite, but let's let's look here. I want to look here. Mystic Seven. What are we saying, Mystic? So yeah, like granted, Mystic Seven. If we compare his views, normally he gets like what 100 to 200k views. But his last videos, he got 94, he got 64, 173. That's pretty high. 194, 73. Overall, like his views are actually doing pretty fine. But like there are a couple here that have done performed a little bit less. Trainer Tips, which granted Trainer Tips is, I don't think he's as motivated to play Pokemon Go anymore because he hasn't been posting as much, but yeah, 51, 73, 68, 65, 46. And again, this is still like an insane amount of views. You have to think about 65,000 people, but we're just using this as an example to see, does this relate to the interest in Pokemon Go? Like if we look back here, 86, 173, 76, 89, this was what, during like Go Fest, Pokemon Go Fest will be huge, the new event different stuff like that. I don't know. What else can we look at? Trainer Club? Trainer Club. Trainer Tips, Trainer Club. Should I be Trainer Daxi? I could have could have joined the trainer crew. 12, 13, 13, 33, 7, you know, and then we compare back to further back, like 23, 20, 36, 44. Granted, these videos have been out longer, so they would theoretically get more views, but I don't know. At the end of the day, like, it's a very interesting topic. How much can you blame? We can actually look at my channel. How much can you blame views being low on, um, you know, less interest in a topic oh i guess there's some some unreleased videos there um but yeah like how much can you blame views if we look at 92 63 those are tips videos 19 20k with the zionic video 54 you know overall all these videos i've put a lot of time and effort into like this zionic video we you know me and zionic recorded we spent a bunch of time editing it changing the angles the laugh challenge you know all that stuff Granted, like our views down, I'm, it's kind of hard to say because again, every video is kind of, but like, like the 24 hour challenge, 53K, like the last one got 500K. So I don't know, at the end of the day, it's just an interesting topic. And like, can we use it? The question is, can we use it as a general metric to see if, po if there's interest in Pokemon Go at a point or if there's just less interest? I don't know if that makes sense at all, but that's kind of like a thought that I kind of have. Um, you know, maybe that's how we tell if uh, there's less motivation to play Pokemon Go. I don't know, views are actually still up though, like views are still doing fine. At the end of the day, it's not about views, but the community. That's why we got you guys here, and I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Nonetheless, what I wanna talk about, what I wanna talk about here is, um, what do I wanna talk about actually? Um, I wanna talk about the trip, the trip. Okay, we've been looking to potentially do the trip to the group trip. If you haven't seen my videos, we've been talking about potentially doing a group trip. I know Trainer Tips is doing one and Brandon Tan is doing one. Uh, I think they're both sold out, but we're gonna be doing a group trip where we fly out, I fly out, you guys fly out, we meet each other, and then we go catch Pokemon. And we're working on finalizing the first group trip to Mexico. Yes, Mexico City. Let me get you guys the dates because we've actually decided the dates. Yes, okay, so September 28th, 2024 to October 3rd, 2024 is when we've decided to do the trip. Unfortunately, it's like, Based on the survey and when you guys wanted to travel, it's kind of like the best time to travel based on what you guys want, but also at the same time, I'm gonna actually be in New Zealand in early September, and we don't wanna make the trip too far in December because everyone's kind of like Christmas and stuff like that. So we've gone with this September 28th, October 3rd. Mexico City is gonna be the destination. I'm super excited. The tickets will be going on sale soon for that trip. Um, I'm gonna have some videos so if you guys want some more info. It's gonna be limited spots, I believe a max of 24 people. So up to 24 you guys can come, but it'll be an absolute blast. If you can't come, don't worry. I'm gonna be making videos when we're there and you guys can watch the experience. And then potentially we'll do other ones. I know there's a lot of people who wanted to do a Japan trip. And I think it could be really fun to go to Japan with you guys. Again, I'm very nervous for my Japan trip, but I think it'd be very fun, especially because Pokemon Go is just so big in Japan and I think it would be absolutely insane. But nonetheless, that's the info I have for you guys for the Mexico trip, September 28th to October 3rd. That's what I'm gonna do, finally finishing my Pokedex. I'm so excited. I still need to actually catch a Wiglet, um, and I need to catch, make sure I catch like Blacephalon and Stack Attacka, the new Ultra Beast, to keep up with it. But granted, once I catch all those, Halucha is the last Pokemon I need for my Pokedex. And if I catch a Halucha, we'll complete the Pokedex. So yeah, that's kind of like the point of the trip, to obviously go hang out with you guys, explore Mexico, and catch Halucha and be there when Pokedex, he finishes his Pokedex, finally. Again, I've been playing this game for four years, and I don't have my Pokedex complete. That's kind of a little bit insane, Dax. Come on, come on, Dax. 
And look, our lucky egg is running out. We could restock it up now if we want. We could. So yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on this whole thing. Again, personally, I've been very busy, less motivated, working on personal life stuff. So I've been playing Pokemon Go less. But let me know in the comments why you have been playing Pokemon Go less. Oh, geez. Ah, oh, I just pulled my leg. I'm still running the half marathon, by the way, chat for anyone wondering about that. Ottawa race weekend, if you live in Ottawa, dude, look at my hair, this is insane. <laughs> Ottawa race weekend, if you live in Ottawa, come pull up, I'm gonna be running the half marathon. You can come say, go Dax, go Dax, as I'm running. Um, but my legs really hurt because I've been running long distances. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been forgetting to stretch, so I should probably stretch more. <laughs> but yeah, nonetheless guys, let me know in the comments why you have been playing Pokemon Go less. Have you been playing Pokemon Go less? All that stuff. Question, by the way, normally we do a question of the week um, and I react to your questions in the next Let's Play episode. So my question is exactly that. My question is, um, have you been playing Pokemon Go less? What are your thoughts? My question is, what are your thoughts on the state of Pokemon Go? Comment that below and then in the next Let's Play episode, I will react to your answers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my God, there's a Lapras right there. I guess the beach biome is, is a fact. We see the water Pokemon. Come, um, Yeah, we'll, uh, welcome back. Let's play episode is back, guys. We're going to be doing more of these. We'll probably do some in Japan as well, which will be insane. Um, but yeah, let's play episodes are back. If you enjoyed them, let me know. And again, answer in the comments what are your thoughts on the state of Pokemon Go right now. And are you excited for the summer? Okay. I'm going to sit here and uh, enjoy the beautiful water. Click the videos on screen if you want to watch more uh, of me doing random things while playing this insane game. And um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Ow! <laughs>